Zimmerman. And I want to introduce those of you who have not met Deaconess Anne yet to her. She is going to offer the children's sermon this morning. Jovi, have you met Deaconess Anne? She is a part of the Deaconess community. See, we have these stoles. They remind us of the yoke of Jesus and that we are servants in Christ's church. And everybody is a servant in Christ's church. And she is going to serve today by offering the children's message. Deaconess Anne, take... There we go. We have the magic touch. No, our live stream team has the magic touch. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Good morning. So did you guys understand that gospel, that story about Jesus? You did? What happened in it? OK, so if the adults don't mind, I'm going to paraphrase it in a way that regular people might understand. Is that OK? So Jesus died on the cross, right? And he rose from the dead. So one day, he visited his friends. But Thomas wasn't there. Thomas, Thomas was not there. He, he, was, he was not there. And so Jesus talked to all his friends, and then he left. And when Thomas got back, they all said to him, hey, you are not going to believe this. We saw Jesus. And Thomas said, guys, Jesus died. Like, this can't happen. Are you serious? He had questions. He had serious questions like, how can people rise from the dead? So a few days later, all of Jesus' friends are hanging out again. And Jesus visited again. And this time, Thomas was with them. And Jesus came up to Thomas and he said, Hey, Thomas, I hear you have questions. Let's talk. And Jesus answered all of Thomas's questions. And Thomas said, Wow, now I get it. Thanks. So, little people often ask lots of questions, like toddlers. It's how they learn stuff, right? What about when you go to school? Do you like to ask questions in school or does it make you nervous? What do you think? So she likes raising her hand for math questions. But some kids get really nervous when they get to school about asking questions. But I want to tell you, Today, Jesus showed us it is never wrong to ask questions, okay? So when you're in school, of course, you ask questions of your teacher, right? What if you have questions about God or church or religion? Because that can be confusing sometimes. Who, who could you ask those questions to? Who do you think? Okay, okay. No, nobody has, who could you ask your question? Well, come on, you have a grandpa who's a pastor. <laughs> and, a, and a grandma. Yeah. Right. Ask Pastor Marissa, who has assured me she would be happy to answer any question you ever have. Okay? So let's pray. Dear God, you got it. Dear God, thank you for giving us imagination and curiosity. They help us learn so many things. And thank you, God, for giving us people to answer our questions. We love you.
Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming out. So if you guys want to go. So we have a learn in faith class that Miss Mandy is going to teach. So if you'd like to be a part of that growing and learning in faith class, we'll see the rest of you after the sermon. Thanks for coming up.